everyone, today I'm going to be doing another video. This time this video is going to be the second part of my NECA Alien and Predator collection of Aliens and, pred and Predators, of course. So yeah, this is my second part for this year of my NECA Alien and Predator collection. And, uh, and, uh, as you saw in the other collection video, I had quite a lot of figures and a lot of things, and a lot of figures, and, and a lot of figures were in different um, pay, um, were in, lo in a lot of different places of the collection, and there was a bunch of stuff, uh, there was a bunch of figures in the collection, and I never had these little stasis little tube things, but, yeah, um, the collection has been updated, and I said I was gonna review that re-released Al Alpha Predator, but I don't want to right now, because, because, uh, I got a ton of stuff here, and I just don't have time to do a 15, 30, a 15 minute and 30 second video of the Alpha Predator right now. I really can't. Because it's it's like almost 9 over here. And I, and I just don't want to. And that's going to be for another time. And uh, we just. And we um we won with a couple more subscribers. Although one subscriber that barely subscribed unsubscribed. I don't know why. But we won a, a 15 subscribers. And that person unsubscribed. But still we won a couple subscribers. And. That's good. Um, I appreciate how much my channel has grown. It's not grown comp and of course it is. Of course, it, of course, fourteen subscribers isn't really that much. It's not like twenty or a hundred, of course. But I at least appreciate that that you people that you people enjoy my content and that uh and that you um like my videos and that you're patient with me because I really can't make that much videos right now because school is back and I have to go to actual school because virtual. Virtual, uh, my school the really malfunctions a lot with virtual, and uh, I just want to go to to school because it's actually better than just online. And I ha and I'm busy with a ton of schoolwork, so that's why I haven't been making videos in a while. So that's one reason why. And I just bought, and I bought a lot of figures th this week, this month, I should say. I bought a lot of figures, mostly aliens, a couple Ninja Turtles, and some Predators here and there, but. Yeah, and some Terminators too. So I so this month, so this month November, and so I'm gonna so this month November I've been pretty busy um collecting figures for this Christmas. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty big Christmas haul. I'm not gonna open my figures until Christmas arrives, and I get a Christmas treat. But yeah, I've been pretty busy collecting figures this month, and I'm still gonna be busy collecting figures. And school is just really holding me back from uploading videos. And a person unsubscribed, which I don't blame you because I haven't posted in a while. But yeah, but anyway, um, since YouTube doesn't allow me to record till at least like sixteen seconds or fi or fifteen fifty for some reason, I'm just gonna show you everything here in a quick format here. So I don't know why, but all of a sudden YouTube isn't even allowing me to record till fifteen thirty when when I didn't have a problem when I didn't have a problem with recording till fifteen thirty. Um, when I was doing reviews and such back then, so I don't know why YouTube's giving me a problem with that all of a sudden. But as you can see here, um, I moved I moved those little um those little um hallway um cardboard thin cardboard diorama piece uh, at uh, diorama pieces out of the way so you can see all this stuff. And uh, let's start off over here on the, in the this side of the collection. As you can see there, um, there's an an aliens brown xenomorph warrior in this type of stasis tube. It's not really meant to be a stasis tube at all. Really, it's one. It's one of those little um um secure protect your figure your seven inch and eight and eight inch figures that NECA made is like a little tube to secure and protect your um, eight inch scale and seven inch scale figures. But I just put a warrior in there and filled it with water so it could look nice, like it's in a stasis chamber there. And I thought about customizing, uh, uh, customizing it, uh, adding a little light on the bottom, just like the aliens, aliens, um, thirtieth and twentieth or thirtieth anniversary creature pack. I had those little lights in the stasis tubes, but this still looks nice. And I like it a lot. Really useful, r really useful um tubes that Neca made. And here's a bunch of alien eggs here. There's like uh five of them here in front, and then a couple of them in the back. And then a dead, a dead, a dead dog from when the dog alien burst out of the dog there, the scratched the face, face hugger crawling out of the egg, and a warrior and a brown xenomorph warrior fighting alpha predator right there. So they're they're fighting right there, grabbing each other in a fighting position. So 
There they are, bunch of eggs, the stasis tube, and some little face huggers crawling atop of the, on top of the stasis tube. There's a blue can of tribute face hugger that came with the rhino. I mean, not the rhino, the gorilla, and this aliens ultimate edition face hugger, which came with the ultimate warrior alien, of course. He's just crawling on the side there. The Bambi Burster slash Dog Alien Exenomorph Burster right there. Glow in the Dark. Um, Glow in the Dark Chest Burster, which came with the big shaft that glows in the dark. Glow in the Dark um, Face Hugger coming out of it, come crawling on top of the egg. Bunch of aliens, chest bursters. Those cheap tech deck, tech deck set barrels right there. Face Hugger crawling on the side of the barrel. Uh, here's Mantis Alien, which a Mantis is a really, really great figure, but the problem is I literally have to put him on, on two little stands so he can stand up. And I have to put him on a, on an, in an actual Mantis position, crawling on all, full, on all fours. Mainly because it makes sense, since Mantises are four-legged creatures and they're meant to crawl on four legs. And, and that figure is super loose in the waist, and the legs are just not good at, at all, honestly. But it's still a great figure. The sculpt is really good, but... His legs and his waist are uh, are the problem. The waist is so top heavy, seriously, with the skinny legs supporting it, it's just not gonna work. And then here's two aliens, blue warriors right here. A resurrection xenomorph getting slashed across the face by a scar predator from AVP. Brown warrior right there, which I already showed you. Uh, blue aliens warrior and more eggs right there, and the blue warrior is attacking the genocide red alien, and then the old released. Um, and the and the old release al albino albino drone slash big shop xenomorph right there. See, I really wish I had the albino drone white warrior from Aliens, the castle concept figure. Might get it for Christmas. I don't know, but here's another stasis tube with another blue warrior in there. Although this one was brown, this one's blue, and the aliens just um asleep there with his with his knees bent and. His arms crossed, looking down. So there he is, right there in the stasis tube. Aliens, NECA aliens, defiance, xenomorph, more blue warriors back there. There's a three, four back there. Those two in front, and then those two in the very back. The NECA alien, alien arcade slash NES dog alien, the one that ha is half blue and half brown. So there it is, right there. And then there's the blue side, which you can see a little bit. But yeah, I'll give you a closer look, but. There's more warriors right there. A resurrection xenomorph sneaking up on Tracker from Predators 2010. More alien eggs and some face huggers crawling right there. So yeah, there's like two face huggers crawling right there. There's one crawling on the bottom there. The little piece, which is from an anti venom, but I spray painted it black and blue so it can look like a little hive diorama. It's not meant to be a complete hive, of course, but it's just a little diorama piece. And then the face hugger wrapped around one of the um, long pieces of the of that little hive base right there, and then the smooth domed, smooth domed grayish black warrior right there from Aliens that came with the perk. A, a black aliens genocide alien. There's two of them. There's that one with with the eggs and that one over there attacking the red genocide xenomorph. More alien eggs. Two aliens warriors. More eggs right there. And then the little stasis tube with the with the little green chest burster. I don't know if you can see him that well, but the little green chest burster is in the stasis tube. And his face hugger and this face hugger is crawling on top of the stasis tube. Snake, snake predator from Predator 2 from Predator 2 fighting a couple of xenomorphs. Resurrection, aliens, and another brown aliens warrior on top crawling on top of the stasis tube, um, which has a, another blue warrior inside. And then this, and then this stasis tube with the blue warrior inside right there. And a random made up predator, and the jungle hunter with some alpha predator parts so it can look different. Kind of, kind of like customization in predator hunting grounds. More warriors from aliens and resurrection. Fugitive, dog alien, um, some, um, some aquarium, some fish aquarium base pieces. Um, slash, um, great, great flooring spray painted black. And a young blood predator right there. NECA ultimate lost armored. More eggs. You can see Drake there about to shoot some xenomorphs. And more xenomorphs back there from aliens. Mostly brown and blue. Anyhow, let's get to this side and I'll get to that side eventually. But um, 
as you can see here, here's a ton of aliens, black and and uh, blue and brown warriors right here. There's a couple black ones. Well, here's one black one attacking one genocide alien. A couple blue ones here, and then there, and then there, and then this, this one crawling on all fours, and this one fighting the AVP elder, laser shot predator, another blue warrior, um, mostly brown warriors right here, and a fugitive predator body with the with my old armor lost predators, plasma caster, bad blood spear, jungle hunter head, so you can look different. And an adversary with the fugitive head and with the little gun that the fugitive um, shot the guards with in the scene when he was escaping. And the alpha predator bone gauntlet and a plasma caster from a jungle hunter. And he's uh, and he's blocking a warrior from getting in his way, um, putting his arm against the warrior's, uh, against the warrior's throat, choking him out. So there's that. Two rhinos right there, which is an awesome figure. And another thing to mention here, I definitely am going to do my top 10 figure list of, of 2020. And it's going to be just aliens. And I'm going to do one just, just aliens and uh, one just predators. I don't, I don't like to be unfair comparing different franchises and different and totally different figures from totally different movies and comic books. See, I don't like to be unfair like that. You might, you might think it's not, it's not unfair, but for, but for me it's unfair to like compare a Terminator next to a Predator, so yeah, to me that's really unfair because they're totally different movie franchises and and they have totally different comics. So yeah, I'm gonna just do a top ten figure list of Predators and Aliens, and the Predators and the Aliens aren't gonna be in the same list. Aliens are gonna have their own list, and the Predators are gonna have their own. So yeah, a couple of Resurrection Warriors right there, the Aliens Blue Warriors, which I showed you. Another explosive barrel, and another dog alien slash Bambi burster, three eggs with face huggers coming out of them, emissary, and all the stuff I showed you right there, razor claws, rhino, chest bursters, another rhino here, and a chrysalis alien from the AVP arcade game, and a mad predator. So yeah. let me flip the phone horizontally, but here's uh, more more figures right here. And here's all the warriors I couldn't show. I, sh I couldn't lean over that much and show you. But they're all here in the back, moving around. A couple predators here. Here's um, here's a Lava Planet Predator. I believe this is his name. Enforcer. The old release of the Broken Test. Can never re release that figure, but I'm not interested. Emissary 2 Predator. A uh, um, random made up predator with different parts. Wasp. Ultimate Big Chap. A closer look at the Lost Armor Predator, which is an awesome figure. Drake, more warriors, Alien Isolation, Xenomorph right there. Aliens, Xenomorphs, there's a brown one. And then four blue ones right here, and a smooth domed warrior right there from Aliens, which came with the Burke. Resurrection, Xenomorph, re-released with the see-through dome, and the old one had dark dome. The Joker, the Jokerized Joker Xenomorph from the SDCC 2-pack. Which was released in 20, last year in 2019 and in 2020. Uh, City Hunter, old release. And AVP Ancient Warrior, I believe is his name. So yeah, I can't remember his name. I think he's Temple Guard or Ancient Warrior. But there he is right there. Can't really get too close to him since... But you can definitely see his uh, little biomass right there. So yeah, and there's Burke. And then the damaged alien right there getting his head blown off by... By um, Apon, Burke, and yeah, that's about it for the click. Oh wait, still got a couple more. Predator 2, Guardian Predator, Gorilla, Genocide, Big Chap, Red Queen, Giant Queen right there, Snake, Scorpion, and Light Blue Big Chap. Uh, Hive Wars, war more Warriors, Warrior from AVP, um, Warrior Predator from AVP, and Assassin. So, that's about it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, just like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Or if you didn't, you could just leave a big dislike. But we'll see you in the next one. And the next video will probably be the re-released alpha. So, that's about it. <clears throat>